Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. If this is your first time tuning in, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications of future videos. So I'm back here at hive number four, the very far right end of the bee yard and the right side standing behind the hive, as you can see. The right side of the hive faces due, est, due west or the afternoon to evening sun hits the right side of the hive. Why is that significant, you may ask? Well, unlike the rest of the hives that catch the early morning eastern sun, this hive, because of that reason, the queen seems to favor the first few frames as far as brood goes. So I'm out here weekly up until July, and then I'll turn it uh, my hive inspections into about a bi-weekly or every two week uh, schedule. So out here again, weekly, another routine inspection of this hive as you can see they do not have a honey super on a few of the hives have struggled this year and i've moved in the opposite direction as i would have liked to move meaning removing supers because they're not working them versus adding supers because they are working them extremely well but either way that's just how things go sometimes so let's see this hive has been struggling along this year I do believe they may have swarmed early in the season and just never really uh, rebounded as well as they should have. I think they had maybe two or three frames of brood, the first, second, and third frame possibly. Uh, last week, I did find the queen for the first time. So again, this is just a weekly routine inspection. Let's take a quick look at the hive entrance. And there appears to be more bees than usual which does make sense as brood does hatch out so also kind of like usual enough of me yapping let's get into the hive and actually see how they're doing this week if you like the videos i appreciate it if you were to hit the like button or the thumbs up i believe is what it is on the on the youtube options and if you have any questions Feel free to ask them in the comments, and I will try to get back to you. So, I'm a backyard beekeeper. I am not a commercial beekeeper by any means. This was a hobby I started a few years ago, and it's been a pretty fun one so far. And if you look back at the previous videos, I removed some deeps, top boxes, that I had on some of the colonies that I had high hopes for, meaning I was using them as honey supers. But that plan didn't go that well this year. So why am I saying that? I'm saying that because if I remember right, I moved a few drawn frames from those supers that the bees robbed out into a few of the hives to include this one, giving the queen all 10 frames as options to lay in. So none of the frames are brand new. As you can see, this is much older comb just because of how dark it is. And they're using it as a food store, which is very typical for the outside frames. But the queen has a full 10 frame to lay in if she ever decides to uh, venture over to the left side of the box and start using that and this is probably this is probably the only the newest frame I have in here and since the bees are done robbing out the deeps I'm gonna grab a frame real quick and just swap it out with that one frame I just removed. And this is what I'm talking about. Not the prettiest frame for that patch there, but this side, a lot of nice drawn comb that she can use to expand the brood chamber. Like I was saying in the intro, this hive's been kind of limping along not really, not the best, not a lot of bees either. She seems to favor the first few frames and my 
suspicions is because it catches the afternoon sun. Just not really sure why this hive is not doing that well, really. And some people will probably say they shouldn't be in a 10 frame and you know, I kind of agree with you at this point. And I might just reduce them to a nuke. I'm not entirely... Jury's out on that one. That's still a, a very big possibility. Because here we are, all the way to the last three frames, and you know, It just don't have a lot going on. I mean, this is a nice frame. Whole bunch of eggs. Pupated larva throughout the outside there. Same thing on this side. So yeah, you know what? Let me take a look at this last frame, of course. I don't see any queen cells or swarm cells or anything like that, but always, always looking for the queen. But given the amount of eggs and everything they have, I'm sure they still have a queen. That's not really a doubt. There she is right there. Right there at the bottom corner. Just kind of slow going, you know? I do have the queen cage available. Ah. Hopefully I can still find her. Yes. This has happened before. Give me a second. These queen clips take absolutely no pressure or tension, whatever you want to call it, then they open back up. But since I, well, here, give you a nice look at her. She's a pretty one. I mean, she's got some nice size to her, but I don't know. Just maybe they just have too much space right now. So. After saying that out loud and after looking at them for a few weeks now and not much really seems to change, I'm going to go ahead and grab a nuke and reduce them. And then a positive, well a few positive effects from reducing this hive to a nuke is it should force the queen to fill out more frames and it'll also give me equipment in case I catch a swarm or need to make a split. And it is going to be as simple as this. So the frame she came off of, which that's where I found her last week I believe, seems to favor that one. next to it I guess the, the easy thing with reducing this colony to a five frame box is they didn't really have too many frames of brood that's got some nice food in it and then you want to give them or give her some space to lay and let's see out of room here and let's 
see, you're gonna need two more, two more nice frames. Not that one. It's a nice drawn out frame. Should be able to use that fairly well. And let's see. I think the very last frame, yeah, it's got. Yeah, that's looking good. Nice drawn comb. And there's some food on that side. There's a decent amount of bees in this box, so I don't know what's going on. They're just uh, kind of slow going, really. Slide this over out of the way so they can, any field bees can find their way back. Another look at her, since there's not too many worker bees on her. I'll just set her there for now. Let's see, all this comb, or frames. Get this all put back together. And then I'll uh, I'll end up sitting or setting the ten frame on the ground in front of the nuke here. Probably should have did this a few weeks ago, but you know, either way, I'm doing it now. Okay, here we go. Let's get a get a look at her being released. She's still in there. Yep, sure enough. It's always hard to do this with one hand. So, all right, here we go. This is number four's queen. Okay, there you go. And down she goes. Alright, let's get them boxed up. Hate to do it, but sometimes it's just necessary if they have too much space. So that's the, uh, that's the challenging part of beekeeping sometimes, is making decisions like this and also determining if they have enough space or if they have too much space. So, once the bees on the right here in the 10 frame. Once the queen's pheromone dissipates and they realize there's not a queen in this box anymore, they'll eventually find their way over here into the nuke. So the challenge I have ahead of me is keeping an eye on the nuke, which isn't necessarily that difficult coming out here weekly and just making sure they have enough space and I might go ahead and add another box in the upcoming weeks as long as they start filling out the frames with brood once they determine they need some space. And then at that point, if they have about seven or eight frames filled out in a double stacked five frame nuke, that'll be a good time to move them back into a traditional 10 frame box. All right, well, that does it for hive number four. Uh, not necessarily surprised at all with how their look and they've been struggling for a while like I said earlier so yeah that's it quick inspection weekly inspection of the fourth hive please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and again if you ring the bell you'll receive notifications of future videos we're also on Instagram and Facebook if you search Coles Farm NC for North Carolina that'll get you to the page and that's it just my uh, weekly inspections of a few backyard hives all right thanks for watching everybody